are submitting yourself, waste your base. You allow yourself to be in the hands of those who have no base. When you are leaving a strong foundation that has been growing over the years, now we are seeing the result. But opportunity has brought itself that now Swakop Moon must come back to their rightful owners. Since you have decided to put Swapo aside, you have seen even the regional council has not been functioning. Now that the Swapo chairperson of the regional council is trying to catch up, and I understand now you are having regional council every week in order to catch up for the last two years. Is that not true? Every week you have a meeting of the regional council because we have to catch up. So we should not make that mistake anymore, comrades. We must invest our vote. We must invest our trust. We must invest on our hopes on a party with a foundation. And this is a swap of party. Yes, people who have interest of the country at the heart, they know exactly what to do. Those who have the interest of the country at their heart, they know what to do. And that is why we are here today, joined by the leadership of the Christian democratic voice. They have the interest of the country at the heart. They have the interest of the Namibian heart. And we really congratulate you. You have done that voluntarily, and we accepted that, and that is what we need. Some people have no interest of the country. They think the more political party you have in the country, the more democratic you are. How many political parties in America? Two. which is an old democratic, two. which is uh, everybody's talking about only two. And what is the population of America? It's in millions. Now a country with a population of just over two million, and you want to be divided in small, small pieces, that is anti-development. And we should not allow that to happen, comrades. We should not allow ourselves to be divided when they are not dividing themselves. But we are being encouraged. You hear groups coming from Europe, they are supporting this, they are supporting this. It's more democratic. Why don't they want democracy in their own countries? So therefore, that is a lesson we have learned. That you cannot just vote for a change which is meaningless. You see the result of stagnation in the development of the town. But it's not too late. I, for one, don't believe on a mistake. It's only a mistake if you don't want to correct it. Now that you, are, you have decided to correct this mistake, make sure that on the 12th of August, you have voted for the Swapo candidate. Besides that, we have not been in charge in Erongo. We have been taking care of the people of Erongo. One unfortunate situation that happened is our people in the fishing industry who have lost their jobs. They have lost their job, but our government has already put in a place a program to recruit them back. 
And if you are honest and sincere, you must know some of them who already got their job. Is that not true? Is that not true? Now, if we have those who already got their jobs, why do you want anybody to mislead you to say that we are doing nothing, we don't care? Of course, it's a fact that some of those people who have lost their job, they are from one of the companies who have run away after this scandalistic thing in the fishing industry. It's very a scandal. It's a scandal because since independence, we have been putting in place all mechanisms, all processes, all policies to safeguard our fishing industry. And we started very well. And it was contributing significantly to the economic growth and development of our country. But because there are those who are jealous and against us, unfortunately, they ended up and, and make use of our, some of our citizens in order to undermine this fishing industry. But we have our laws, we have our procedures, that's why we have two cabinet ministers who are now in prison. We cannot defend the wrong. Let the law take its course. But the reality is we are working hard to make sure that those who are unemployed, those who have lost their job because of this scandalous activity which had attacked our fishing industry, they will be helped. And the Minister of Fisheries here, he can testify that we are hard at work to make sure that they got their employment. Comrade Swap of Party, Swap of Party, you know, when the war between Ukraine or the conflict between Ukraine and Russia started, there were resolutions which were passed in the General Assembly. There were resolutions which were passed in the Human Rights Council. But Swapo, the government, led the government. We say we are not going to party to that. The reason is we believe in negotiations. We believe that problem must be solved through negotiations. And that has come out to clearly when there were difference between the government and the, uh, and the trade union when it comes to the issue of salary increase. We all agree that for some times our workers, our civil servants, they understood the economy of our country and they still understand the economy of our country. At the same time, our government understands that we really need to improve on what we are giving to our civil servants. And through negotiation, which we believe on, at the home and abroad, abroad, a compromise was found. Thanks to the Namibian workers. Thank you for your understanding. A strike in Namibia at this time, it was going to be a disaster. When we are already trying to recover from the COVID pandemic, and it was going to affect everybody, including the private sector, including the workers themselves, but through negotiations, a compromise has been reached. And that is what we should always do in this country. Comrades, we have a responsibility to ensure that there is prop service to our people. 
And we can assure you that with Comrade Nehemia as our counselor, that is going to be done. They are trying all things that can mislead our people. For example, there is now, it's, it's not a secret. It's not a secret that we had a very dark and bad history between us and the German government. And the Germans, who are our former colonizers, they have committed a genocide in this country. And when this issue was brought to parliament by a member of the opposition, and we had a good majority, but we accepted to discuss it. We accepted to pass a resolution because this is an issue of national interest. And we all suffer because of that genocide. By this time, we cannot talk about 2.3 million Namibians. We could be more. But that genocide, which has eliminated more than half of our population on the southern part of our country, is still haunting us. And it's painful to all Namibians, regardless where you are. And that is why when the parliament passed a resolution, the government has engaged the German government. As your Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, I had to take that message to Berlin in order to inform them what the people of Namibia are saying. We continue engaging until we reach a level where there's a document which was recently discussed in our parliament. And our parliament has made some comments. Our parliament has raised the issues. And currently your government is ready or is busy raising those issues with the German government in the best interest of the Namibian people. Now there are those who are going around misleading our people, saying that they are the ones who are doing it. They are going to get money from Germany and distribute to you. No way that can be an individual project. That is a national project. And our government has already agreed that once the implementation is coming, it will focus in seven regions where we have the majority of the descendant of those who were victims or who are victims of the genocide. And these regions are Karas, Hardap, Komas, Omaheke, Ochodonjupa, Kunene, and Erongo. Can that be clear to everybody? Don't be misled. Don't be misled, comrades. And, and 11, am I right, comrades? 8 to 11, for you to go to their main office in Swakopmund to get your duplicate. Did we got that, comrades, is very important. Those of you who have lost your cards one way or the other, make sure you make use of those days from the 8th to the 11th to go to the office of the Electoral Commission in Swakopmoon to get your duplicate. And from there, comrades, Every day, make sure you have seen your card. Make sure you look at it when you are waking up and when you are going to sleep. You know, we are, we are living with people who are very desperate. They, your card can even disappear in the morning after the voting. So that's why it's important that twice a day, you must see that card. Eh? <laughs> to make sure that the SWAPO candidate has won. Now, I talked about the SWAPO candidate. 
And this is now the time for me to introduce the Swapo candidate. You know, some people were looking at our national protocol that when a senior speaks, no one else can speak. Who is a senior today? Who is the most important person today as we are gathered here? Our candidate. It's not the vice president. The vice president is introducing the candidate. Yes. The guest of honor today is our candidate. Yes. The guest of honor is our candidate. And it's important that we hear that candidate to tell us that has accepted the assignment of the party. And we make sure that we give the candidate guest of honor. It's 16.40. So, please put on the song. We have to receive the guest of honor from the... Ceremonies, Thank you. our vice president, our uh, the guest of honor is speaking. We want quiet. Thank you. Thank you. Please give him an opportunity to say one word. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Thank you. Thank you. Also in the tent. Thank you. Thank you. We understand you are congratulating our vice president who did very well, but the candidate of the day is speaking. Thank you. Swapo. United. Swapo. Victorious. Now. Hard work. Now. Hard work. Thank you, director of ceremony. <laughs> Direct of ceremonies, our vice president of our Mike Swapo party, our regional coordinator, 
our Honorable Governor of Werongo, please allow me to stand on the protocol as established. I'm proud and I'm very, very honored and exceedingly happy to be as visited by my leaders that are spearheading our winning party. I'm proud to stand in front of you and to express my hope and the blessings that I'm getting from all four corners of our country. Dear comrades, the time has come, the time that we were looking for is here with us. Indeed, Swapo Party is not only preaching democracy, but we are fully promoting and exercising within our party structures the democracy that we are talking for. And we have expanded it to the national structures. We have expanded it to accepting that ECN should run the election affairs of our country. For us is to make sure that as members of the party, we rally behind the candidate that was sponsored or that is sponsored by Swapo Party. The candidate by the name of Nehemiah Ndara Salomon. <laughs> Comrade, we should be, be mindful that for us to get this constituency back, we should make sure that we have the right cards, that's the voters' cards. We should make sure that everybody wakes up, comes the 12th of August, line up at all the polling stations and go vote right. And I think our song that we've been preaching, we normally don't say go cross. We have got a nice song that we all of us have been practicing for all this time. That is to go and do what? <laughs> what are we expected to go do? <laughs> we owe <laughs> we owe to ensure that the future of our generation, the future of our members, the future of our citizens are in good hands. We owe it to our residents of Swakopmund, to this constituency, and all of us are witness to what happens within these two years ago. There was nothing that we can touch on. There was nothing or there's nothing that we can leak. There is nothing that we can attest that really the councillor that was here did something for this community. Please, I have accepted the assignment given by my mighty party. I have accepted the directives given by my leaders. And, and I'm now expecting you, the residents of Swakopmund, to go do the right thing and for me to go execute the job that I'm given. The program is already there. The manifesto of our party is already there. The vision 2030 is already there. Is for us as community of Swakomund to rally behind those projects together with me so that we can succeed in bringing this constituency to the level where the other constituencies are now. With those, I thank you very much. Please, don't forget, don't forget the 12th of August.
The 12th of August. Viva Swapa Viva! Viva Swapa Viva! And I thank you very much. There you have him, there you have him. Go work, work. Okay? Thank you very much, candidate of the day. Um, we, we have been speaking in English for a long time, but we know that the majority of our people would like to hear it in a language they understand. So I'm going to call on uh, three translators um, to, to help us summarize what has been happening here. Uh, can I kindly have... Um, Comrade Shilunga, Brian Afrikaner, Comrade Shamaha. So we have um, Oshiwambo, Africans, and Oshierero. Kindly come to the podium to help us. Um, N117839, Winduk, your light is on. So please make sure. You go and put it off. N one one seven eight three nine window. Otherwise, you won't be able to drive from here. Thank you. <laughs> 